The most harmful thing that you can do to yourself is question what you're capable of accomplishing because of comparisons. You see someone else's business taking off, so you think you're behind. You see that someone else has thousands more followers than you, so you decide it is not worth it to try. You tell yourself that it's just a stupid idea and that it would have never worked anyway. But what do you think might happen if you just stop the comparisons, stop the questioning, and just start? Well, I'm about to show you that you do not have to have thousands of followers, millions of dollars, or even an entire plan built out to get your business started, advertised, and bringing in some cash flow. By the end of this video, you should have the tools to help you become a competitor to the people and businesses you were once comparing yourself to. Now, running a successful business first starts with having a business, or at least just having an idea of what business you would want to get into. And with all the opportunities that are out there, the options are limitless. But the first rule of thumb that I always suggest you look for within the business you want to start is scalability. The worst thing that you can do is to start a business that just turns into a job, meaning that all of that labor is on you. And the amount of money that you can make is based off of how many hours of the day there are and how quickly you can work. You should be starting a business with the idea that there is no cap on the amount of money that can be brought in passively, not counting the amount of jobs or clients that you would have to take in order to make a certain amount of money per day. And look, even if the business that you want to start is based on a service that you can provide, you have to think outside of the realm of just what you can do. How else can you scale a business where you provide a service? You can train other people how to do the service and have them work under you. You could create a course that reaches the masses, or you could even sell your knowledge to other businesses and people. And once you come up with a scalable business and a business plan that you want to move forward with now it's time to get ready to put yourself out there but not before seeing what is working on the market i'm a true believer that there's just no reason to ever reinvent the wheel take what is working add your own spin and make it work for you and your business but to do that you're gonna have to perform some market research to find what businesses are doing well let me show you how you're gonna do that with facebook being one of the best social media platforms to do paid advertising on we're gonna see what is working for other advertisers on that side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over here to Facebook ad library and type in the business that you're looking to start. So let's just say you're a plumber looking to start a plumbing business. You're gonna to wanna to know what type of ads, ad copy and websites are bringing in the most traffic for this type of business. And that's exactly what we're gonna be able to find here. So I'm just gonna make sure that United States and all ads are selected. And then I'm gonna type in the keyword plumbing. From this search alone, if you scroll through these results, you're gonna see all kinds of advertisements for plumbing companies. And there are different things to analyze in each of them. Starting off with the thumbnails or the first image that you see before the video plays, which is what originally grabs the attention of users. Following up with the first three seconds of the video ads and what hook is being used to keep the attention of consumers. And next is the ad copy and headline and what they're promoting in the text of the advertisement. And then of course, the amount of traffic that's coming to the store based off the ads that are running. And the more traffic that you see coming into the company's store, the more interested that you should be in their advertising tactics. So to figure out the amount of traffic that they're getting to the store, you're just gonna choose one of these plumbing companies that you wanna look further into and then head directly into their website. So I'm just gonna choose this one right here, which is Buzz Plumbing Service and see what's going on with it. So now that I'm on their website, I'm gonna open up a free Google Chrome extension that in my opinion as a business owner is a must have and it's called Similar Web. When I open up Similar Web, I can actually see that they have a current incline of traffic coming to their site, which is just telling me that the ads that they have running on the market right now are performing very well. So from there, you wanna head back over here to Facebook ad library and you just wanna click on seeing all of their ads whether it's a video or still picture ads, and then just pick apart what they're doing very well, what you think you can be improving on in your own advertising efforts. And the same can be done with our online store because a part of converting the customers that you'll be gaining into real sales is giving them a seamless shopping experience. And you do not wanna stop there. You wanna find at least three to four competitors through your searches across Facebook and TikTok so that you can compare and contrast content to gain an idea of what type of content you can make and what type of content is actually driving customers to websites. Understanding the different platforms you're planning on advertising on is huge as well. On Facebook, you'll be seeing more ad-like advertisements compared to TikTok where you'll be seeing more on the job content that works as ads. So depending on which ad concept you feel works best for you and your business is the one you're gonna to pull the most from. Now, once you gather an idea of that and you work on creating the ads or getting them made, it is time to move on to the final phase, which is promoting your business and getting your ads in front of the eyes of consumers. But I am not talking about in the way that I'm sure most of you know about, which is paid advertising. I'm talking about for completely free with an audience who needs your services that you'll be able to find through something called organic traffic. Organic traffic is the process of getting traffic to your store through unpaid sources.
resources. And one of the most lucrative parts of organic traffic is SEO or search engine optimization. Apps like TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook have now become highly favorable search engines that consumers use to find businesses and products that they need. This just means that your content and your copy should be highly searchable per app. It's suggested that while editing short form content for TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook, while putting any text on the videos, you should be also using text in the editor of the specific platform so that the AI systems can scan it for keywords. This means that you don't make an Instagram reel and then upload it to TikTok, but instead take the time to make each piece of content in the app itself to increase your searchability. With that, you also wanna make sure that you have subtitles toggled on in your videos. Doing this because in your videos, you'll be using keywords and what you're saying throughout the video, and it's just an additional way to make your videos more SEO friendly. Now, you might be thinking, well, AC, I have no idea how to figure out what keywords I should be using in my videos or in the text of my videos. And my simple answer to you is, use data and not your opinion. There's a Google Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere that you need to have while working on making your content SEO friendly and gaining the organic traffic that you need to make sales. Keywords Everywhere is going to allow you to search on platforms like Google and YouTube and see what words or terms are being searched at the highest rate by customers. So just to keep our example going, if I head back over here to Google, make sure that my Chrome extension Keywords Everywhere is turned on and I just type in the word plumbing. I'm able to see different keywords and terms that are searched by consumers, which is gonna give you a clear indicator on what type of words that you should use in your ads and copy. From trendy keywords, to related keywords, to people also search for, I mean, they basically give it to you all. And whenever you're looking through this, the more searchable terms that you can use in your content, the easier it's gonna be for users to find you. Hashtags play a part in the SEO of your content as well, but this is something you do not wanna overdo because you might put yourself at risk that you confuse the algorithm on where and who you wanna push your content to. Simply pick three to five relevant hashtags of what the content is about while making sure that at least one trending hashtag is also in use. This will help you reach an audience even outside of your target audience to potentially pull more eyes to your content and your business. Now, although the SEO of your content and the copy is something that you undeniably cannot go without while working on gaining organic traffic, as the goal is always be able to post content when and where your ideal audience is most likely to see it. This means that if for some reason you're targeting people who only work overnight on the weekends, you're probably not gonna be posting your content on the weekends during the day, hoping to reach them. But the truth is, since you're doing organic traffic, you're not gonna have a lot of data to go off in the beginning. So you have to create the data and posting consistently is going to help you create that. It suggested that while doing organic traffic, you post at least four times a day, but this should not just be four random posts at whatever time that you could post the content. You want to make sure that you're able to measure the constant consistency to help you figure out what times that you're getting the most engagement. So what is suggested is that you post at least four times a day at even hours of the day for one week. And then the next week you post four times a day at odd hours throughout the day. From there, measure which one performs the best for you and then just start to play with that. So if the odd times show you the best result, then now this week you will be posting at 3 p.m., 5 p.m., 7 p.m., and 9 p.m. instead of 2 p.m., 4 p.m., 6 p.m., and 8 p.m. Then from there, again, just measure which times give you the best performance and the most traffic to your store and stay consistent with that posting time. In addition to posting at the ideal posting times, you'll also wanna make sure that the content has trending sounds that will help your ads climb in views and that you're using the SEO tactics that we just talked about earlier so you're not just depending on people coming across your ads, but creating a way for them to find them too. From there, the more consistent that you are with utilizing the SEO optimization, posting time optimization, and ad optimization strategies that I share with you in this video, you'll see an increase in engagement on your ads, traffic coming to your site, and sales coming in, and more money into your pockets. I hope that you understand that getting your business in front of customers is not something that has to cost you thousands of dollars. Organic traffic is a lucrative step that can really help you get your business off the ground and running so you can actually start making the sales that you need to start investing in the next step of business growth, paid advertising. So stop giving yourself excuses, stop comparing, and stop questioning whether you should actually start that business. Give yourself the opportunity to succeed by starting. You now have the tools and knowledge that you need to make something happen, and now it's up to you to do it. And look, I have a lot more that I can teach when it comes to organic traffic, as that's how I've been able to grow account after account after account and continue to give my business organic exposure. So if you liked what you got in this video, but you want more insights on organic advertising to help your business grow from nothing, make sure to go ahead and let me know by smashing that like button down below and leaving a comment for me in the comment section. I can't wait to help you all keep growing. This is AC with Supreme Ecom, and I'm out. They gon' want a piece when you got it like that. Like Jake said, we gon' spend it.